In this video, we're going to focus on how to find the percent of a number. So let's start with something simple. Let's say if we have 400. What is 10% of 400? To find 10% of something, simply move the decimal one unit to the left. So 10% of 400 is 40. Well, that's straightforward. All right, so let's say if we want to find 20% of 500. What is 20% of 500? Well, first, what is 10% of 500? Well, we know that 10% of 500 is going to be 50 if we move the decimal one unit to the left. Now, 20% is twice the value of 10%. So 20% has to be 100 because 50 times 2 is 100. And we could check it. You can check it by taking 500 and multiplying it by 0 0.20. 0 0.20 is equal to 20%. So 500 times 0.20 is 100. And so that's a simple way in which you can mentally find the percent of a number. Now let's try some more examples. So let's say if we have 150. What is 30% of 150? So feel free to pause the video and try. So first I'm going to find 10% of 150. So let's move the decimal one unit to the left. 10% of 150 is 15. So what's 30% of 150? Well, to go from 10% to 30%, you need to multiply by 3, because 10 times 3 is 30. So what we need to do is multiply 15 by 3. 15 times 3 is 45. And so 30% of 150 is 45. And to check it, let's multiply 150 by 0 0.30, which is 30%. So 150 times 0.30 is 45. Now here's another problem. What is 15% of 400? What would you do in this situation? Well first, let's find out what 10% is equal to. 10% of 400 is 40. Now what is 5% of 400? 5% is half of 10%. So if 10% is 40, 5% is 20. Now, 15% is the sum of 5% plus 10%. So therefore, 15% is going to be 40 plus 20, which in this case is 60. So this is 15% of 400. That's 60. And to check it, let's multiply 400 by 0.15. And so you should get 60. Now what about this example? What is 25% of 700? Try that one. So first, let's find out what 10% is. 10% is 70, which means that 20% has to be what? 20% is twice the value of 10%. So if we multiply 70 by 2, that's going to give us 140. Now, what is 5% of 700? 5% is half of 10%. So half of 70 is 35. So now, to calculate 25%, we need to add up 20 plus 5%, or we need to add up 140 plus 35. And so 0 plus 5 is 5, 3 plus 4 is 7, and so this will give us 175. So that's how you can mentally find 25% of 700. So in your calculator, to check it, multiply 700 by 0.25. And this should give you 175. Now let's work on one more problem. So let's say if we want to find 23% of 300. Based on the previous examples, what can we do? feel free to pause the video. So the first thing I would do is find the value of 10%. We know that 10% is going to be 30. And now I would find the value of 20%, which should be twice the value of 10%. So 30 times 2 is 60. Now what is the value of 1%? If 10% is 30, 1% has to be 3, 
you need to move the decimal two units to the left. Now, if 1% is 3, what's 3%? Three it's going to be 3 times 3. So if 1% is 3, 3% 3 has to be 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, to get 23%, we simply need to add 20% plus 3%. And so that's going to be, I put 60% here. That should just be 60. So it's the sum of 60 and 9, which is going to be 69. So if we multiply 300 by 0.23, that will give us 69. And so now you know how to easily and mentally find a percent of a number.